from the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 13, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Here in Colossians chapter 1 verse 13, the Bible is teaching on sanctification, how from the new birth experience we have been translated from the jurisdiction and the authority of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son, the authority and jurisdiction of light. Sanctification means to be set apart from that which is unclean to that which is clean. And sanctification is threefold according to the teachings of the Bible. Point number one begins with initial sanctification set apart at the new birth experience. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 13 teaches that at the new birth experience we have been all baptized into one body. We are now a part of the body of Christ. We've been adopted into the family of God, set apart from the world. Initial sanctification. 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 9 through 10 echoes this point and states, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Initial Sanctification set apart at the new birth experience, not because of our social status, not because of our church titles, not because of our good works, but set apart because of the work on the cross of Calvary by the Lord Jesus Christ, the redemption in his blood washed from our sins and set apart. For example, a laundry bag full of dirty laundry has been washed and now we separate the clean clothes from the dirty clothes. We have been set apart from the things of this world and are sanctified in Jesus Christ. Point number two, sanctification is progressive. Sanctification is an ongoing journey of setting ourselves apart from the things of the world by putting off the old man and putting on the new. It's a change in our speech from before, a change in our dress that we may be discreet and not be stumbling blocks to others. It's a change in relationships, choosing individuals around our circle that will not cause us to backslide or to veer off and shipwreck our faith. Scripture teaches in the very first psalm, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Once again, clean laundry, not going back into the dirty hamper. This is why Christians struggle today. They are sanctified initially in the Lord, but choose to go back into the things that cause them to be dirty all over again. Former speech and former dress and former relationships cause them not to live a sanctified life. Scripture teaches in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17 and 18, to come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you and be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Point number one, initial sanctification at the new birth experience. 
Point number two, progressive sanctification as we put off the old man and put on the new. And point number three, complete sanctification as we leave this world and go on to be with the Father, whether it's through death or whether it's through the rapture. We're sanctified from this world, set apart as we leave this world behind, and the former things have passed away. First John chapter 3 verse 2 teaches this principle, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. When we are translated from this world through death or through the rapture, we will get a brand new body, a spiritual body, like the Lord, as taught in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We look forward to being not only in His presence, but having a sanctified body, just like Him, as the former things will be passed away. David knew this thousands of years ago in Psalm 17 and verse 15, which states, As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Sanctification threefold. Initial sanctification at the new birth experience washed in the blood of Jesus Christ and set apart. Progressive salvation, set apart from the things of this world as we continually put off the old man and put on the new. And complete sanctification as we are set apart and removed from this world either at our death or at the rapture and receiving a brand new body being in the Lord's presence forever as the former things are passed away and we are in the presence of the Lord forever. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com.